Yo, have you ever seen the comment section in a crap gamer or mooch video and seen idiots be like, hey, good video, bro? Have you ever wondered what kind of moron actually sees a crap gamer video and likes that ish? Well, now I bring you live footage. Xbox One X in 4K, 60 frames, and 60 frames in native. Take that backwards, but. Two seconds into the video, and this guy's already tripping over the simple use of the English language. Um, we know Forza 7's 4K 60 frames native, because they had that on E3. So, it's not Microsoft's fault, because we know it's 4K 60 frames because of Forza 7. And it's a lot of gigabytes, because 4K is 100 gigabytes of space. But by the way, I, I didn't edit this footage at all. He actually uploaded the video like this. Yeah, yeah, with the rotation sideways. <laughs> yeah, just letting you know. Okay, let's get back to the idiocy. So, yeah, I think it's the developer's fault for games because they're not doing 4K, 60 frames. And plus, I think they're more concerned of the disk space than anything else. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. And the moral of the story is... If you want to save brain cells, stay the heck away from Crap Gamer's comment section. Oops, wrong intro. Let's go with the real one. Sorry about that. What's good YouTube? It's your host Axel Rose, this show going with the slogan, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. Now, I kind of want to just drop a quick video talking about Nintendo and their last six months and how it culminated in the Nintendo Direct that we just had yesterday. Now, I think we can all agree that much like the Dreamcast before it, that the Wii U was a console with great potential, but Due to certain issues and outside factors, it just never really caught on with the public and with a general lack of third party and just software releases in general, the Wii U kind of just brought on a negative reaction from fans. No sir, I don't like it. And when the Switch was announced, one of the major concerns was Nintendo making the same mistake of ignoring third party needs and wants, such as choosing cartridge over the Blu-ray format, or not exactly having an online infrastructure set up so third parties can properly take use of it and charge us for microtransactions whenever we just don't damn want them. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, initially I was a Nintendo naysayer. I'ma keep it 100%, mm-hmm, that, that's real. I mean, even when the thing was announced, we did have a few announcements of some third party games, but none of them had any dates. Skyrim just got a date yesterday. It just got its definitive date yesterday. You know what I mean? And on the launch, things looked scarcer than an Xbox, uh, Xbox Gamers exclusive library. You know what I'm saying? The Rock is the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Xbox is going to be the most electrifying console, uh, period. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, in the past six months since the release of the Switch, Nintendo have been bringing more heat than George Foreman grilled to a barbecue. Where are these metaphors coming from today? But, you know what I'm saying? It is, it is, I, I, I can't lie. They have definitely done their Japanese samurai thug dizzle. I mean, everything we pretty much asked for as gamers, and which is important, they've delivered on. They've sorted out their third party problem, even getting the likes of Rockstar to come back to the Nintendo platform. And that is something which, to be honest, I thought would never happen. And people have definitely made it known that they want more IPs and more just, and just a bigger variation of exclusives from Nintendo. And in the first three months, we have ARMS. People wanted Metroid and at E3 they delivered Metroid and fam, even their online is just straight up. Uh, uh, okay, okay. The actual implementation of voice chat and the online features aren't so good. I mean, you can't even send messages to your friends on your friends list and organize proper online games yet. But it is pretty good for what's there as far as 
technology and actual performance. Getting online and getting into games is pretty good. But yeah, the features and the apps aspect is pretty lacking. But as far as all the major points, like hitting all the main bullet points of what a console should be doing and what we expect from Nintendo, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty, they're doing pretty okay. Like the direct the other day, like pretty much showed that they are going in a different direction, you know? I mean, well, at least they're really trying to alleviate some of the prior problems that we had with the platform. They're actually going to like to Bethesda to get mature 18 rated games and Rockstar to get mature 18 rated games. And that's good because to be honest, the Switch has penetrated a market beyond just Nintendo fans. It's, I think it's pure to see by the sales. If it was just in second place and stuff like that, I'd, it'd be pretty much easy to say it's just the Nintendo fans. But the fact that it's actually actively competing with the PlayStation 4 in terms of sales shows that there's just a wider interest. And when the price drops down and when there's more software available, like, it's, it's going to be more of a fight. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Me, personally, I think Nintendo have been doing a good job. Like, they've got Capcom supporting them. Like, like every year, every month, like, this year since it's come out has been packed with a major release. Like, and from now to the end of the year, it's going to be two major releases. Like, both Pokemon and Dragon Ball come out next week, actually, and One Piece and stuff like that. So... It's crazy, and I, I just got Monster Hunter like last week. And I was just thinking, there's just like literally no time to play all these games. Between my Switch and my PlayStation 4, I have a horrendous backlog at the moment. Like, I'm almost happy that the Xbox One has nothing to play at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about Nintendo. Do you think they are doing enough to, you know, make you interested in buying a switch or even enough to just make you think that okay yeah a peep game they're they're trying to do their thing you know you know you know are nintendo doing enough basically to be honest i think it's kind of interesting that they've done a lot more in six months as far as what people want than microsoft have done since 2014 yikes now I, I, now i know it seems like i've been coming at the xbox brand hard and that's like, yo, I do have love for Microsoft and stuff. I've got love for all these consoles and stuff like that. You know, I got all of them. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got three Xbox Ones. Do you know what I'm saying? So one of my next videos is going to be on what Microsoft can do, if anything, to get themselves back on track. You know what I'm saying? But yes, just let me know what you think. Thanks to everybody that's been coming through, dropping comments and them likes. Really appreciate it. Keep that stuff coming. Shout outs to King Thrash, Ryan, Zaire, Blackbond, everybody. Everyone that's doing their thing, post up, D. And yeah, big up yourselves. I'm out. Peace.